Felicia. Uh, she found. A, a, how did you find Larry? She's yes. got a, a, a basset hound, right? Yes. First of all, she has a female basset hound. I do. And her name is Luna. Yeah. And she's uh, super <laughs> spoiled. Has a has her character, her super personality. Spoiled. And uh, so Felicia found another basset hound that was a stray, right? Yes, so I actually, a friend of mine actually had tagged me in a post of this lost Bassett. And, um, you know, he had been missing for quite a while and they had been looking for his owners. Nobody, nobody ever seemed to like say it was theirs. And nobody, nobody went to go get him. So I ended up saying, you know what? I took him under my wing. I said, let me go ahead and adopt him and have him there at home. I have another Bassett that will get along. So I did, and his name is Larry. I'm going to share a little photo of him. <laughs> he's the <laughs> he's cutest a little, thing. He's a little funny looking, but he's the cutest little thing ever. And he's such a good boy. He's so sweet. Yesterday, um, we did go to the vet. It was his first vet visit. But unfortunately, even though his overall health seems to be okay, um, he did come back positive for heartworm. So it's going to be a six-month treatment process. When that... you said that, my heart broke, you know, yeah, because I really saw sad. him. And and what's his personality like, Larry? He is super chill. Like, he's what an actual Basset, how everybody says, oh, Bassets are lazy, Bassets are. He is, like, the definition of what a Basset would be. He's very chill, very calm. He doesn't bark. He doesn't cry. He's not vocal at all. My other Bassett, total opposite. She's extremely vocal, but he's the cutest little thing. And so he um, he's going to be going through that six-month treatment, and he started this morning. I had to give him his first dose of medication, and so I'm just praying and hoping for a good outcome for him. I mean, he seems to be overall healthy. Symptoms, he doesn't have any yet, uh, but we'll see how that works I out. I always thought when you said he had heartworms, I always thought that was like a death sentence for a dog. I and thought it's not. so, too. I thought so, too. But now, you know, we live in a time, thank God, where, you know, they have medicine that is a lot stronger now that's able to defeat this. And as long as you take care of it with time and, you know, do it in the time that you're supposed to, medications, the injections, all that. Um, you know, they have about a 90% chance, I believe. So what did they tell you at the vet? They gave you some meds and stuff or what, what kind yeah, of treatment so he's is he going to be? Uh, he's on medications right now, um, antibiotic and a steroid. And then next month is when he gets his first injection, which he will be hospitalized. Show his picture again um, while you tell us. Yeah, yeah. He's I super cute. <laughs> yeah. He will be um, hospitalized next month uh, when he gets his first injection. And then I got to make sure he's you know, calm at home and he can't get too energetic because of course this is dealing with his heart. So his heart has to stay calm. And of course, uh, the third the third month, if all goes well, then he will be getting his two other injections. That's him at the vet yesterday. Um, he was super excited to be there, but yeah. So it's gonna be about a six month process. Month two and three are the most important. That's when he's gonna have his injections. And then, um, the next three months after that, four, five, and six, it's kind of just making sure, you know, they're gone and keeping up with the uh, the preventatives on him and stuff. That's It's really important, you know, if you have a pet, if you have a dog, cats too, any any pet, um, to make sure they have that preventative going on. You know, the the last thing you want is for them to get, you know, heartworms. It's, yeah, it's really no. devastating. I mean, when, so, you, when you walked in and said that, I was like, no way. Oh, my yeah. God. And you know, because I've got three dogs myself. I have a Chihuahua, and I have a Weenie dog, and I have a Pit Bull. And, uh, I mean, they all have their own unique personalities, and I'm just a dog lover all the way. And I, I, mean, I, would, I didn't even cut the ears on my Pit Bull or anything like that. I don't believe in mutilating dogs or anything like yeah. that. Uh, but uh, when you told me about Larry and after seeing his picture, and uh, he just looks adorable. And no, but I was I'm, like, I'm, man, I'm, I wanted to cry. <laughs> I'm know? just happy that I have him. The vet said, too. She's like, I'm just so happy you found him. Like, and you, you came across him in time, and... You know, he's very happy. He he does not like being outdoors anymore. He's mm -hmm. he was astray, but now it's like air con, my bed, toys. That's what he loves. Yeah. So that's his life. <laughs> he's yeah. just chilling at home. Well we'll do, we'll be praying for little Larry there to yes, get better and quick. Yes, you know? thank sometimes you, I you know, it. they give you that, that, that whole length of time, but sometimes it, it speeds you know, it, it can be faster than that, hopefully. Yeah. Uh you know, we'll his see. uh his healing and, and recovering all that mm -hmm. stuff. So anyway, we appreciate all of you that got to spend a little bit of time with myself, yes. with me, Rock and Roll James and Felicia Marie. Make sure to follow her on social media. She's got her own page as well. Just look for Felicia Marie. You can follow me on my Rock and Roll James fan page as well on Instagram and Facebook.